Well, let's turn our focus now to the impact of the coronavirus on young people in Israel, particularly the youth at risk. A new report by an NGO for youth at risk published on Sunday morning reveals a significant deterioration in the emotional and physical condition of young people during the epidemic. And it shows an increase in violence and drug and alcohol use. So for details on this story, we now welcome again Pazit Raz, a volunteer from the shelter for youth called Elim, and she joins us from Tel Aviv. Good to see you again, Pazit, and thank you again for your time. Disturbing numbers coming out of this report, although perhaps it's not that surprising, given the uncertainty for everyone in recent months. So what are the main findings in this report that stood out for you? So good evening. Um, LM sees and support 20,000 young adults and youth yearly. In the recent three months, we see double, we, we actually saw 6,500 6, young adults and teens in distress that needs our help. Unfortunately, in this last three months, we see double the number of um, alcohol use. We see double the number of loneliness that the youth feel. We see more than three, three times um, drug use and uh, self-harm. These numbers are extremely disturbing and we are worried. The numbers are increasing in the just last three months. So. And of That's course, as you say, not only are these disturbing numbers, it's also coming as Israel goes into its third national lockdown. Of course, that just started three hours ago. What kinds of steps are being taken to help young people at risk have the tools they need to cope for yet another lonely, isolated period coming up potentially for even a month? So we are in full power. All 250 workers and 2,700 volunteers are working 24 hours a day to support all the youth and the teens in distress. Uh, we have 24 hour people working out in the streets online. We have people in all our 80 shelters and centers all through the country, and we are all working even harder to be there for them. So uh, no lockdown or any other situation influenced by corona stops us from doing our job. And when you talk about these cases of depression, anxiety, alcohol and drug use, talk us through the long-term concerns as well. What can people who are watching right now do to try and help anyone they might know who is battling at the moment in the way that you have been describing? So uh, LM has um, their online um, line that is working 24-7. If you log on to LM uh, site, you would see the online support that is there the whole time. We have um, shelters that are open 24 hours a day uh, to give support and help to whichever needs it. Uh, we have our outreach van out in the streets um, looking for teens and for young adults that are out there and needs our help. So whenever you see somebody, a teen or a young adult out in the street, you can just approach them and help them reach out for us online, on call, on phone, um, any, any way you can. Well, thank you so much, Pazid Raz, speaking to us from Tel Aviv, and we wish you and your teams all the very best on the incredible work that you are doing. Thank you so much.